Hi, John. Um, n- nice to see you again. It's been a while. Good to see you, Kieran. How are you doing? Yeah, very well, thank you. Enjoying the sunshine, as I hopefully you are as well. We are. It's lovely. That's cool. Well, I mean, the, the big pressing like point and uh, everything that's on everyone's, you know, the edge of their lips and the end of their tongues is what, what's been happening on the tech side uh, since the testing framework's been released. Well, um, quite a bit. Uh, uh, we've got, you know, as you know, a bunch of different uh, groups working in different directions. Um, so uh, Lund, primarily in California, um, he's been working on uh, the direct extension of the, uh, of the testing framework. And uh, he's adding uh, a feature that we have, I'll describe a little bit more detail later, but it's something called a bearer token. And it's, um, it's something that is native to the blockchain. It's native to the validation layer. It's a, it's a different uh, sort of financial instrument that lets you do things that are really pretty amazing. And, uh, and we'll tell you about those uh, in a little while. Um, implementing that though means you've got to uh, create the transactions, have it go to the blockchain, uh, have these things consumed. And you know, so it's got to all be on the back end to, to actually be created and destroyed in the way that they're supposed to be. Um, that involves also developing some additional messaging and uh, and uh, network uh, um, elements to to sort of make network operations work. Um, and in addition to that, one has worked on uh, the block explorer and some of the uh, the user interface dimensions. So we're developing um, um, a wallet uh, that will use these bearer tokens, let you buy the bearer tokens, let you consume the bearer tokens. Um, and also a, um, uh, a place where you can actually see what it would be like to spend a bearer token. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him talk about that when he gets a chance. Um, so, yeah, no, it's, it's very cool, actually. One of the things we've, we've done is, um, you know, one of the big difficulties in, in blockchain and really, I guess, financial economics in general, it's hard to spend money. It takes, it takes some effort. So if you have a credit card. You've got to enter the credit card number. You've got to, you know, put all the details of your address, and so uh, just the normal transactions uh, might take ten seconds, fifteen seconds, and has to be approved. Maybe you've got something that enters them in automatically. Uh, you have to then authorize it. Uh, you really making ACH payments from the bank is kind of difficult in small amounts. Uh, you can make automated payments, but on the fly payments are kind of difficult. So all this is quite difficult, I think. Uh, what we're trying to do is, is generate a system that's almost like cash, where I reach into my pocket, I pull out a nickel and I, I spend the nickel, and then I don't ever have to see you again. We're basically done with each other. Wow. Uh, no, <laughs> no offense. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's incredible. I'm, I'm, in, I'm more than intrigued. I'm delighted and excited to learn more. So I need to wait for this next conversation that you're gonna have as well, obviously. Uh, and so um, this is this is just a matter basically of saying I've got a dollar fifty in my wallet and I'm willing to spend ten cents. I put you a dime, and then we're done. You know, and that's that's the end of that story. And so that's the thing that your 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 five year old can do, your grandmother can do, um, even I can do it. So that's that's what we're aiming for. So this is the earliest implementation of that. That's what Lund has been working on. So, so that's that's Lund. I'm excited. I actually am excited. I had an experience when I when Lund demoed it to me, which was sort of eye-opening. But all right. So um, he's, we're also adding some new coders to the team. Uh, so we're hoping they'll come online maybe in the next couple of weeks. And that's that. I'm kind of excited about that too. So I have been working with the coding team uh, to implement that. Um, I've also been uh, laying some of the foundations for an application layer. I'll tell you later why we're doing that. We've got some interest from some commercial people. So we've got an application layer that does some interesting things and, and we're pushing that a little bit further ahead in our, in our development plan than we had originally thought. Because again, there's commercial interest. So, you know, we go where people tell us to go. Yeah, thank you ever so much for your time again, John. It's been a pleasure. Okay, take care. Man, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.